Hey everyone and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of Oracle cards. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle where I empower women to break free of the fear that stops them from shining bright and going after their wild and crazy dreams. In this episode, I'm gonna be pulling cards from my Shine from the Inside Oracle with a message for the new moon in Leo. I'm gonna pull a card for each zodiac so let me know what your sign is in the comments below. Say hello, where are you watching from, and is this your first time tuning in to Woo Woo? I am a little under the weather if you can't tell by my voice, so I'm gonna keep this short and simple um, so that I maintain and preserve some of my energy. But I thought with tomorrow's new moon that I just, since I was out of town last week in Tampa with some friends, I didn't wanna miss this week, especially with it being a new moon tomorrow. So. With that being said, Leo is all about center stage, stepping into your bright, authentic, shiny, magical self. So when we're in the season of Leo, you'll wanna think of kicking off Leo season as like the start of your self-love journey. So how you treat yourself over the Leo season basically sets the tone for the entire next year to come on where you invest in your self-love. And when you invest in your self-love and you take care of your inner child and you explore those blocks that stop you from feeling worthy of receiving abundance or support or just your dreams in general, then this is the time to do that work. So for example, if you're a shine schooler, now's the time to restart the program. When you invest in your self love, it ends up paying dividends over time. So what we do now in Leo season will set the tone for our self love routine. So it, if you are a shine schooler, I highly recommend going back through and watching it six weeks of self-love this is the perfect way to really anchor in a new level of love for yourself i'm also going to be going back through it one of our alumni tagged me on instagram and said i'm going back through it through shine school for the fourth time and that kind of like ding it's leo season we should totally do leo season and shine school all about self-love seems perfect so if you're not in shine school then i would highly recommend investing in your self-love now so that it can continue to be that foundation for you to grow and expand and allow more in that's the thing when we don't love ourselves we close off to receiving and that means support that means money that means opportunities so this is really about taking the walls down and being comfortable being your authentic self because the more you are true to yourself the more you naturally attract okay I'm gonna catch up with all of you guys cancer hello Libra sister Jody's here Ryan what up I'm Leo in Denver oh my gosh so good to see everyone oh I'm game for restarting shine school yeah Rebecca so that's the vibe like I'm gonna jump on with the other alumni from shine school and we're gonna go through the six weeks of self-love together okay so if you're not a shine schooler DM me and I will send you the link or you can go to BrittanyCarmichael.com slash shine school okay Pisces in the house hello Mish so I'm gonna pull a card for each one of the zodiac to represent what you need to focus on in this new moon and Leo tomorrow this is, as I mentioned, a really good time for you to tune into what is your intuition telling you? You're probably going to have to go through this release and grieving process to let go of the old and, and step into this new, shiny, sparkly magic version of yourself. So <clears throat> what are you letting go of? What old habit, what belief, what pattern, or maybe what friend group or um, job are you letting go of that no longer aligns with you? This is what the new moon is all about. It's inviting in the new. So in the new moon, and Leo, you can focus on where you are expanding into your authentic self and stepping out uh, to be seen. This is really a call for those who, those light workers who have been hiding behind the shadows. This is a call to step out of the spiritual closet and show your gifts, shine your light, share your talents and creativity with the world. Stop being afraid that it's not good enough or that um, you're going to fail or that people are going to judge you because they're already going to judge you. You might as well be doing something that you love. Um, yay, Leo season, Jamie says. Jamie's one of my coaching clients and I actually got to meet her in Tampa this last week, so it was so incredible. I started reflecting over all the women that I've worked with in my 90-day coaching intensive and a good handful of them I've actually had the pleasure of running into, whether it be randomly at an airport or flying into the town that they live in. It's been really cool. <laughs> Even Jade, she flew in to see her sister in Oklahoma but happened to be driving through where I live. So it's so incredible what happens when you invest in that support 
support around you, how it really does show up in ways that you could never guess. I would have never guessed when Jamie signed up that I'd be celebrating her birthday week in Tampa with her. So incredible. All right, I'm just catching up with everyone's comments. I'm gonna shuffle with the intention that every sign receives the message they need for this new moon in Leo. We are calling in abundance, we are calling in authenticity, and we are calling in that full sparkle magic power so that we can be seen, we can show up and share our gifts. Um, yay, Shine School sounds so good right now. I'm telling you, I think I, I'm, I think I need to send an email about this because uh, it really is, it, it just, it's time. That's the message. It's time, and if you need that support and self-love, let's do it together. All right, you guys ready for this? Aries in the house. Let me know where my Aries are at. We're going to kick off the Zodiac New Moon and Leo reading with our trailblazing Aries. Oh, okay, and the card just flew out. All right, this message is for Aries. Aries <laughs> needs to know that your soul whispers love and your ego shouts fear. So this is a really powerful one because Aries are the leader of the pack. They're all about going forward and going after it. And a lot of the times they are so confident in themselves that they just charge forward and ignore the little whispers that um, may be guiding them to course correct. A lot of the times <laughs> Aries can just blaze through and burn anything down out of pure ego and that works for a while. And when you get to that burnout point, when you've blazed through everything and you've got nothing left and it's not working, then this is your invitation to take a step back and ask, what is my soul trying to show me? What am I supposed to be uh, listening to? What, what message am I missing? And it's only when we take a step back, surrender and get quiet with ourselves through meditation, through dancing, through walking in nature, through something other than trying to just go at it, you have to step back and totally let go of the mental thoughts and uh, yeah, just the mind. You've got to let go of the mind so that your soul can speak. All right, Aries, anyone need to take a step back and listen to their soul? This, that message is for you. Yeah, it's school time. I love it. Okay, we're on the Shine School crew. I actually have a Facebook Messenger chat for all my Shine School alumni, so if you want to be a part of that um, for the accountability, let me know and I'll add you to it. All right, Taurus in the house. Where are my Tauruses at? Oh, there. Okay, two flew off. We're going to go for it. Tauruses need to know this season and Leo season to show off your sparkle and shine from the inside, okay? If that's not the most shine schooly synchronistic message, then I don't know what is. And stop judging and start loving, which pairs perfectly because Shine School was created for people to reclaim their power so they no longer judge themselves, which also leads to judging others. So when I see these cards together, it is showing me that it is time to love yourself and to not compare yourself anymore to anyone else, to stop your own self-criticism and judgments that you have about yourself. And when you do that for you, you'll notice that you stop looking for the negative in other people and you start noticing the positive <laughs> and you'll have the confidence to show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. So you are only as strong as the story you tell yourself. So make sure that the story you speak to yourself on the inside, I am loving, I am creative, I am abundant versus I am afraid, I am ugly, I am not good enough. You want to be mindful of what story you have on repeat internally so that you're not manifesting it to prove yourself right because you'll get what you want and what you don't want. It's what you focus on, right? Um, I want to be in the chat too. Me, me, me. I want in the chat. Okay, please message me, DM me afterward. That way I know who all to add, but I got you. Rebecca, Mish, noted. Okay, let's carry on. Oh, I guess I should put these cards back in the deck in case the same message is for other signs, so we'll do that. All right, where are my Geminis in the house? Geminis need to know in this new moon in Leo where you can focus on your self-love and self-care. Geminis, what do you need to know, Gemini? <laughs> I'm hearing the word patience. <laughs> like, wait for the right message to come up. We can't force it, Geminis. Ah, here we go. Geminis. What do Geminis need to know? 
set your intentions with heart and soul. So this is about getting really clear on what you authentically want to create in your life. It is about setting intentions that align with what you want and not what other people expect of you. This is about making sure that you tune in to your heart space. We're in Leo season, right? We are all up in the heart chakra space. So we need to make sure that the actions we take align with what feels good for us on the inside, what is authentically true, what aligns with our natural talents and skills, this is about getting clear on what you feel like you want and not what you think you want so I know that can be tough for Gemini's because we've got both we've got the twins we're on both sides of the spectrum we use one twin to notice the perspective and the contrast so this is so important to really take a step back and move into that heart space to ask what is it that I feel like I want what brings me the most joy and make sure that you find what brings you joy and you make sure your actions are aligned towards that so get clear on your intentions um okay i am a taurus me 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 <laughs> okay all right let's carry on okay i so need to join shine school in other words yes jody i mean it is the ultimate course on reclaiming your power confidently stepping out into who you are meant to be and manifesting your wild and crazy dreams because when you're on your own team and you're not burdened by the past you're not self-doubting and criticizing you can make friends with your inner mean girl and actually use that as your own cheerleader to go after your goals so that you never feel stuck you never feel burnt out you're always in alignment and creating that balance so if that feels like a yes to you then i would say shine school is the place to be all right let's see also, we're about to hit 5,000 Shine School members, um, so I'm really pumped about that new milestone. Shine School I created back in 2016, I wanna say, and it's just really cool to see how much it's grown. We just brought on a new um, team member to help us grow and expand in the Shine School category, so I'm really looking forward to seeing all the magic that unfolds, especially from you know, seeing what has happened in everyone's lives that have taken Shine School. It's so cool to go back and see, you know, to stay that connected and that close to all the students, to check in on their progress, to see, because you know, as I mentioned <laughs> literally on the sales page, self-love does not happen overnight. It is not an overnight process that you just like, okay, I'm gonna choose to love myself and tomorrow I should feel good, right? No, it's a consistent commitment to loving yourself and showing up every day to do something for you. And if you don't know what your integrity is, where your boundaries lie, then it's gonna be really hard to please yourself because you don't even know what the parameters are. So, all that to be said, I'm just, oh, I'm so happy, like, I'm so, like, not feeling great, but doing this is bringing so much energy that it's like, huh, that's all you gotta do, is like, when you're not feeling good, go do the things that light you up, and that's what Shine School's about, is helping you to figure out what are those things that light you up. Okay, carrying on. Um, where are we at? We are in Cancer. Okay, so the Cancers need to know this season to surround yourself with your soul tribe. This is for our water babies who need that nourishment and love. So this is saying you are not alone. My Cancers, where are my Cancers in the house? You are not alone on this journey. I know that your emotional feely feels can seem overwhelming, but this is saying that you are not alone. And even if you weren't born to a family that feels like you fit in, this is your now opportunity as an adult to change that narrative and plug into communities that support you and where you want to go. That's the thing, sometimes what we're born to tends to keep us held back in the past because that toxic cycle hasn't been broken. But I have a feeling that if you're here listening right now, you're probably that rainbow sparkle sheep in your family that doesn't fit in, that they don't understand. <laughs> I just recently heard this new one, those devil rocks that you collect, crystals. Yeah, I'm like, that's a good one. Um, you know, maybe you're that person in your family and you're here to break that cycle. And so it can feel like, well, I didn't fit in where I grew up. I went to a, t graduated with a hundred people. Okay, I went, I went to a very small country town, did not fit in at all, made me feel alone, made me feel like, I don't know, like no one understood me. And then it was a constant search of where is, where is that place that I fit in? So finding that, community that supports you and your authenticity, who you are, who you wanna become, that is exponential to your growth. So if you're not in the Shine Tribe Sisterhood, my private Facebook community of 9,000 beautiful souls all across the globe, I recommend you jump in there so that you don't feel alone on this journey. Okay, Cancer, you're not alone. You have the support, you just have to let us in. That's what I'm seeing is the walls are up and you just gotta let them down. 
All right, let's see. 5K Shine Schoolers is amazing. How are we celebrating? Ah, I have to think about that. Let me set my intention with heart and soul. But that, we should do like a, well, I was gonna say we should have a trip, but like that's what the goddess gatherings are. Hmm, I don't know. Let me think on that. And I'm open to suggestions. Oh my God, yes, cancer right here. Water baby all the way. Been in the feely feels and took myself to the water today to recalibrate. Oh my God, devil rock. Since we last chatted, I have been deep in collecting, learning about, and working with them crystals. Oh, Rebecca, it's so cool to see you continue your journey and explore. It's just, it's incredible. Okay, let me grab a drink of water before I move on to our Leos in the new moon in Leo. All right, where are my Leos at? I can tell you that a lot of my friend group are Leos. Leos and Libra seem to be a good combination. So, where are my Leos in the house? This is your month to shine. Happy birthday if it's you. Okay, three cards. Let's not be let's not be too Leo about it. Okay, we're going to look for one card this week. What do the Leos need to know during this new moon in Leo time? Okay, three cards. Well, and that's a Leo for you. First card is let go of control and relax into flow. So this is a really perfect message for Leos to just trust that they already are that beautiful, amazing, magical being and that they don't need to control it so tightly. If you surrender your grip and just trust that you're amazing here to do amazing things, then all of those opportunities begin to naturally unfold for you. It's just a matter of having the confidence to say yes. <coughs> oh my gosh. Jamie says that's because Leos are the best. I love <laughs> Libras might want to might fight you for that one. All right, turn what is this? Turn lemons into lessons. So letting go of that control, trusting the process, knowing that we can't control the way that it shows up for us, but we can control how we respond and react to it. And the only way that we can do that is if we take time to reflect and un understand what did I learn from this. Let me turn this down. <coughs> I think this fan is, I'm burnt, this fan, it's like, it's a whole combination, y'all. I'm, I'm doing my best. All right, so turning lemons into lessons. This is about understanding the wisdom that comes from these lessons or challenges of growth. Every challenge is an opportunity for you to learn something new about yourself and not repeat that same pattern. Y'all, <coughs> the Leos are getting me today. Okay, turn criticism, criticism into kindness. So, we can be hard on ourselves. This is saying we've got to stop that self-judgment because that's that's what is stopping you from relaxing into the moment and knowing that it's all working out as it should. The highs, the lows, all of the in-betweens, it's so important for you to just trust the process and not really um, try to pinpoint all the problems. Like this happened because of this and this happened because of this, trying to find reasons why the, why the bad happened. This is about turning that criticism into kindness and understanding that the things that we judge are actually there to pinpoint and highlight and show us where we can change. <coughs> hey, I never catch you live. I use your deck every morning and I'm working through Shine School. Oh my gosh. Casey, so again, forgive my voice. I'm a little sick today. Uh, we're doing our best, but Casey just jumped on live. We, earlier we were talking about how Leo season is all about investing in your self-love, and we're all the alumni are gonna go back through Shine School together. So Casey, you don't have to do this alone. Reach out, DM me, we've got a private group chat to, for accountability. Um, okay, funny as you tell the cards, nope, just one, not three, and they turn around and say, let go of control. I'm telling you, man, you just gotta, you just have to trust the process, even though we're like, we think we know better sometimes, but, <laughs> when you put aside like your own i don't know thinking or your own like it has to be my way or the highway mentality it really makes room for the magical unexplained blessings that can show up in your life maybe maybe those three messages were much needed for the leos who knows and so sometimes our intuition will show us or tell us something and we're like oh yeah that's great but like no we're just going to do it like normal let me share a really quick story. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. The day my grandmother passed away, I went it, after yoga, I went into my meditative cave where I go talk to my spirit guides and my guide said, go now. And I said, no, nope, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to go now. I had a tarot reading with a client at 12 o'clock and at 11, I got on the computer and my uh, keyboard died. The batteries in my keyboard died. I'm like, 
what the heck? So I switched over to my laptop and I started working on it. Boom, my internet froze. Like, what the heck? 12 o'clock rolls around, I start to get on the call and Zoom freezes. What the heck? This is about letting go of control. You can't, I can't control the fact that this technology is literally forcing me to get off of it and go now. I get on the call, we finally make it work. 30 minutes into the call, Zoom shuts down, my computer freezes. I have to restart my computer. By that point, my client is like, Britt, I think you should go. I think you need to go now. And I was so resistant because obviously I knew what that meant. Go now meant she's dying today. So of course I resisted that. Who wouldn't want, who would, right? And so I drove 45 minutes to my grandmother's house. I, I walked into the bedroom and I saw her. And I stepped out for maybe not even 30 minutes. And my aunt called us back into the room and she died within four minutes. I know that my grandmother waited for me that day. And had I paid attention, I, well, I was paying attention, I was just ignoring it. Had I listened to what we already know is true, I probably could have spent more time with her. Now, do I go back and regret that? No, I just go back and turn the lemons into lessons and understand when your intuition is guiding you, when it doesn't make sense or you're resisting it, it's probably the thing you need the most. So it's so easy for us to get caught in the mind, in our mind of like, oh, well, that's weird. That doesn't make sense. No, I'm not gonna get in the left lane, but then boom, something happens. You just have to trust those like, weird nudges that's what intuition is it's not like this like vegas lit up sign that's like hello here's the answers it's a very quick mm, weird ping like i don't know and as you get comfortable with the way that that shows up in your body and your mind and your feelings it's going to be a lot easier for you to trust and interpret when that intuition comes through here for all the leo vibes and i have definitely been thinking about you okay moving on to virgo <sighs> Whew, my voice is hanging in there, y'all. All right, hey Jamie, it's good to see you. All right, Virgos need to know in this new moon in Leo where they can focus on their self. No. Fucking five Virgos, no way, no way. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. Sometimes you just know, and if it comes back, then you just have to trust it. All right, what do the Virgos need to know for the? <laughs> we'll go with two. Virgos also need to let go of control and relax into flow. So I'm thinking there's a theme here when we're resisting what is and to treat yourself to something beautiful today. So stop trying to force it and just go ahead and say yes to the thing that makes you feel good or lights you up. Uh, I just ordered myself flowers. I put myself on a flower subscription from Vokes. I don't know if you've ever used them, but I wrote myself a letter or a note in the card that says, keep shining, I love you, just like a little pick me up. And one of the lessons I teach in Shine School is to buy your own damn flowers. So when this card comes up, this actually is a lesson from Shine School to treat yourself to something beautiful. Stop waiting for someone else to do it for you and do it for yourself. So Virgos, just chill and do the cool thing for you. It feels like you're <coughs> waiting on a partner or a boss to approve or validate you in some kind of way. And this is just saying whatever you need to do to celebrate yourself um, for you, by you, then that is, that's, that's meant for you. Okay, well, two more cards just came up. We're going to move into Libra season. So the Libras, myself included, need to know to breathe in bliss and exhale bullshit and embrace your inner divine goddess. Well, isn't this, isn't this a powerhouse of a message? So Libras are all about balance. It's about creating um, how much comes in and how much goes out in equal flow. Because as a Libra, we want to give and make everything right and peaceful and fair. And a lot of the times we put ourselves on the back burner it, um, uh, at, what's the word? Like um, in, despite other people, like we put other people first. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, it's not coming through. So, oh, at the cost of our own self care. That's like, that's where I'm going. So we put everyone, detriment, that's the fucking word. Okay, we put everyone in front of us to create fairness and balance at the detriment of our own self love and our own self care. We sacrifice our balance to make sure everyone else's balance is in place. But what I have learned is that when you embrace who you are and know what your needs are and fill your cup up, then you can set the tone as the fulcrum of balance. So all the other external stuff in the world is balancing off of you 
in your center of groundedness. So this is a call for you to practice peace by doing meditation or yoga or whatever ritual helps you to let it go. Maybe that's running. Some people get that runner's high and they just let all their emotions out. It could be working out, it could be dancing. Whatever you have to do to express all the stuff that feels built up energetically, emotions, overthinking, worrying as well. This is about breathing in bliss knowing that you can take that deep breath with intention to really allow yourself to relax and then exhaling all that no longer serves you. So this is a call to commit to your rituals of finding peace within and with embrace your inner divine goddess, this is saying to step more into the feminine of receptivity, of creativity, of allowing and surrendering rather than trying to force and dominate. Um, embracing your inner divine goddess essentially is the essence behind Shine School and really tapping into that um, power that we have not been told that we have. I think women have been suppressed so long um, that because of our power and that men recognize that we are quite powerful beings and they've suppressed us for a long time. And I heard this story earlier about why do elephants stay chained to uh, this tiny rope their entire life? They're these big massive animals and they could break that chain in two seconds. But what happens is they condition them from a young age and so they start the elephant on a rope tied to a, a, a fence and they can't go anywhere because they're too small. And over time their neural network creates this pattern of, well I'm always chained, I'm always captive. And I feel like this as a woman, as our feminine energy, our feminine energy has been captive. It's been chained up and thrown to the side and said you can't dominate, you can't take up space, you can't be too much or too big or to feel as much as you do. And so this to me is about breaking that invisible chain that society and culture has created for us and really embracing our power as a woman. And that <laughs> it's more than just flashing our titties and free the nipple. It's about giving ourselves permission to trust our intuition, to receive, to break the walls down and to not be so protected all the time. That takes courage and vulnerability and that is true strength. Okay, end rant. <laughs> I just messaged my flower lady about making something amazing. I love that so much. All right, Scorpios, what do you need to know Oop. <laughs> in the new moon in Leo? Scorpios need to celebrate themselves because they deserve it. They have probably worked really hard. They've been pushing, 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 going, 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 and they haven't even taken a pause to check out how far they've come. So this is your uh, message to slow down, to look around, and to celebrate how far you've come because you totally deserve it. All right, Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius? Gosh, these cards are crazy. Sagittarius in the new moon in Leo needs to unleash your inner wild child and get up and dance. So this is about really not caring what other people think. This is about giving yourself permission to play and to feel um, free and abandoned with your energy to really just tap back into that um, wild child that you had like when you were a young kid what was that thing that you did like for me I grew up in a really small country town on acreage and so I had to like come up with like creative ways to entertain myself like my neighborhood was the Alaskan tundra and anything on this side of the street could you know like they would be like polar bears and shit to attack you and we'd have these obstacle courses like I would create these crazy scenarios growing up as a kid and this card makes me think of that time where we just used our imagination imagination to do those things that light us up, to be wild, to be free, and to not care what other people think. That's what Sag needs to know. Stop letting others judge you and just dance to the beat of your own drum. I love this. These cards are so connected to you. M Mish, you know, I obviously created them with the intentions behind Shine School and, and everything that I put into that. But the more that I read from them, the more that I pull cards for other people, even the ads team that I hired um, and had a call with today, I, he was looking at all my websites and he went to the Shine from the Inside uh, website because you can do a digital card pull and I said you're getting to know me on the back end and like getting all personal I want to know who you are. Okay, there's your next card and uh, I said pull a card from my Oracle deck. Let me see what comes up for you 
and he pulled a card and it instantly let me know where he's at, what's going on. And I find that more and more times that I read people or have other people pull a card, my guests that sit in my salon chair, when they pull a card, they're like, oh my God, I needed this message so bad. It really just brings me so much joy. Obviously I created it so I feel like there's bias and you guys would be like, oh my God, of course she loves her deck. But I don't feel like I created this deck. I feel like it channeled through me using my natural abilities and whatnot, but oh, so magical. All right, let's keep, let's keep going. Where are we at? Capricorns. Capricorns need to surround yourself with your soul tribe and forgive someone. So maybe you've been holding people hostage in your heart because of the pain that you felt and you don't feel like it's fair to let that go. If I let that go, then um, what will the consequences be for the person that's hurt me? But the truth is that hurt people hurt people. So if someone has hurt you, they are already suffering and you don't need to continue that by holding that resentment in your heart. <clears throat> you may need to process forgiving yourself or forgiving someone else and what and how that's allowed you to not step into your full power. There's an entire module in Shine School about forgiveness because this is a very deep topic. I obviously can't just sit here and guide you through forgiveness meditation and all the processes that I do to, to be able to release those past pains. But what I will say is that one of the most powerful things that I have found is writing out all the things that you wanna express and then ripping it up or burning it. It's what we do every full moon. We do the full moon release ritual so that we can let go of what we don't wanna hold on to that doesn't feel good anymore. So if you've got some forgiveness work to do, I would recommend writing a letter to that person, whether it be you or someone else, and not sending it, but just ripping it up and getting it out of your system. Once we express it and see it on paper, it gives us an opportunity to look for, earlier we talked about finding the lessons in the lemons, turning it into lemonade essentially. Uh, it's only then through that forgiveness process that you'll be able to extrapolate the wisdom and see what, how did this make me grow? How did this make me better? Even though it was painful and it wasn't fair, I, I changed because of it and I changed for the best. Um, you guys have to go back after and watch to see your signs. Oh gosh, I, I love you so much. Yes, Capricorn is right on point, Casey says. All right, let's move into Aquarius. We've got two more signs. Aquarius needs to know in this full moon, look for the signs and synchronicities. You know what's really funny right now? Chris is an Aquarius and he's writing the email. We do a check-in email with our elevators for the Elevated Life Club. And this month's topic was on spiritual tools. And the challenge was to look for the signs and synchronicities. So he was he's in there right now, Mr. Aquarius, writing uh, the check-in email about looking for synchronicity. So I find that to be quite interesting, quite synchronistic, right? So Aquarius, over the next new moon, uh, Leo season, can start noticing the magic, noticing the angel numbers that come up, looking for different symbols or signs that represent their spirit guides. My favorite thing to share is that you get to pick your spirit sign. Of course, pennies and feathers and rainbows all are a universal sign of our angels and spirit guides being with us. But when you really wanna test the magic, and this is what I did, you guys see on this card, there's a little pink car, and my spirit sign is a pink car. So whenever I see a pink car, I know to bypass my logical analytical brain and know that my intuition, my spirit guides are right there supporting me. It's always interesting when they show up. For example, when we were getting our new car, we exited the highway and right at the light where we exited was a pink car. I'm like, okay, we're getting a new car today. I'm so excited. So look for the signs and synchronicities. This is important for you to set up what your spirit sign is so that you don't leave yourself second guessing. Was that a sign? Did I make this up? That's the other thing. If you hear yourself saying, did I make this up? Then you can guarantee that whatever you were thinking before you had that thought was intuitive and on point. All right, last but certainly not least our Pisces in the house. I know Mish has been here, Mish is a Pisces. I, yes, LOL, she's almost done. Um, oh yeah, Jim and I, we did earlier. I know y'all heard, did y'all hear that? They shot across the room. They're literally behind my plants. Let me move my plants, hang on. We, okay, Pisces. Pisces with a freaking bang over here. All right, so. Love me some Pisces. I'm a Libra double Pisces, so I've got a lot of influence uh, from this beautiful, 
sign of spirituality too. The Pisces are, are intuitive, there are poetic, there are healers and um, like spiritual teachers of the group. So with that being said, Pisces need to focus on in the new moon to tune into your inner peace and be bold, don't be afraid to stand out. So these are kind of two of uh, the opposite ends of the spectrum, right? Finding our inner peace and making time to get quiet, to commit to those rituals that help ground us, that make us feel supported and nurtured. And then from that space, once we feel grounded in ourself, then we'll have the confidence and courage to make those bold moves, to take that courageous action, to stand out and put yourself out there. As I mentioned earlier, the story about my grandmother and ignoring the messages that were coming through, right before she passed away, I was able to get my hands on some of the like mock-ups of the Oracle cards. And she pulled the Don't Be Afraid to Stand Out card. And in the guidebook, I talk a little bit about her um, being a five foot 10 Icelandic woman who didn't know how to speak English when she came to this country. And so my grandmother pulling this card really did set the tone for not being afraid to just be you. Maybe you think you're too much or too emotional or too sensitive, but all of those are your gifts. And I think the more you give yourself permission to accept who you are, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to make those bold moves without being so um, influenced by other energies, wh whether that be other people's thoughts or judgments or um, expectations. So Pisces need to get quiet, to tune in, to find their inner peace so that they can have the confidence to stand out, shine their light, and to be bold, to make those courageous moves. Whew. <clears throat> oh, hello, Miss Carrie. So good to see you guys. Okay, so I tried to keep this short and sweet, and now I've gone 35 minutes. <laughs> I, you just, when you resist what is, it just always backfires, right? Um, but I have managed to get through, and um, I'm still breathing, so we're good to go. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm a Libra rising. Oh my god, Mish. No wonder, no wonder we just vibe so well. I just love it. Okay, well, that concludes the new moon and Leo reading for all 12 signs of the zodiac. Let me know what your sign was and did it resonate in the comments below. This has been so much fun sharing this wisdom. Um, I will, my last announcements are that we have an in person goddess gathering on the next full moon on August 11th. It'll be at the Flower Mill in McKinney. Um, so DM me for details if you haven't already RSVP'd. That is going to be, again, an in-person goddess gathering in McKinney on Thursday, August 11th. And the other thing I wanted to share is that I have officially announced the goddess retreat and man, are those rooms going fast. All the private rooms have sold out and we are now down to our queen bunks, bunk beds. So. If you've been thinking about joining us in Colorado this week or next year, it'll be on the week of 420, wink, wink. And um, we will be celebrating big by adding an extra day for total play. We're just gonna hike, to fuck around, just take a nap, whatever it is that we feel like we need to do to integrate. <laughs> We, this was the most highly requested thing. In every feedback form I've gotten from all the retreats, the last five that we've done, everyone says, longer. I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer. So I am finally listening to you and making it longer by adding a play day. So I am so grateful to um, be able to hold this sacred space for you. So whether you want to join us in person at the gathering, at the retreats, or you're interested in joining us in Shine School to commit to six weeks of self-love, I am so excited for what is about to unfold. New Moon and Leo really sets the tone for stepping out and shining your authentic light. It's also going to be paired with Jupiter in the mix, so Jupiter is going to bring us expansion and abundance. So the more you lean into your authentic self, the more abundance and uh, 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 opportunities that you're going to attract in your life to help catapult you into the next level. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you know a soul sister who would love this message, please tag them, share the video, whatever you got to do to spread the sparkle magic. And I will catch you next week. Until then, peace.